just you know about to start a holy phase of her life and journey and um, um, we've been since uh, my dad all his work is he has written a blessing for and one year we took a family vacation up to Estes Park and um, he actually sat with every one of his grandkids individually and you know read the blessing over them and we have copies of that and kind of all through their lives he's written these things to them which I think is just so cool um, yeah how cool because <laughs> <laughs> all you guys do is snapchat and it's gone in 30 seconds or whatever but um, it's we just feel like you, you know you raise your kids not to stay home with you you raise them to go change the world um, scriptures talk about how it's the youth that overcome the evil one it doesn't say anything about anybody else doing that but the youth because of their zeal and their energy that God has put in them and um, this one man since she was a little kid has had, had this passion to change the whole I don't know not the, the whole world yeah, but <laughs> in particular the foster care system and and she's about to embark on the journey that's, that Lori is going to put, start stepping stones in this in practice. And um, so we invited y'all here, and some of our friends could make it, but people who mean a ton to our family and have loved us and loved our kids. And so just to gather, I'm going to have, pray for Emily. And, and uh, because, uh, I don't know, we just believe God has got great things uh, for her life. And so... Um, we'll, we'll do this. I'm going to start prayer, and if, when I'm done, if somebody else would like to pray for Emily, you can. No you pressure. Have to. No pressure. There's a way not, and then my dad will, will wrap it up. Um, then we'll go eat pizza and we'll, we'll do whatever you want to. But um, we just feel like it's important that our kids know that they're not alone in the road ahead. And that it's, you know, it, it's not just Ruth and I, but it's, it's generations of us. Everybody that we meet makes us family in Christ. And so, anyway, we're going to pray for you, okay? Yeah. Well, again, we are so grateful for the people uh, that you bring into our lives. And uh, a little over 18 years ago, Ruth and I get this crazy phone call that was an answer to prayer, and it led to us getting to become parents of Emily and Abby. And man, little did we know what uh, the road was gonna be like, but we are so thankful for uh, every moment of it. And we are so thankful for the dreams that you have put in Emily's heart. We're thankful for the passion that you have given her. Uh, for those who, uh, for no responsibility or fault of their own, um, just find themselves in, in a world needing more care than others. God, we thank you for giving her uh, an incredibly brilliant mind, one that can articulate thought and articulate clarity, with clarity, great truth. God, I'm grateful for the way she loves you and has ex gets to express that love back to you. I'm grateful for the way that you have uh, shaped every part of who she is uh, to reflect your strength and your passion, your justice. And so what I'm asking you to do, Father, is uh, just do what you promised you would do for us. God, in times where uh, the road might just seem blurry, uh, you give her real clarity and make sure that it's not in, that she doesn't move in a direction that's away from you, but always toward you. That you'll remind her of the things that you've taught her when it seems confusing. A reminder what truth is and lead her into all truth. 
We're going to trust that you are going to continue to produce the fruit of your spirit through her life. That everyone who encounters her will experience love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control. That to everyone who meets her, that they would know that they are deeply loved and that they belong and have a place. We're going to ask you to to clear every path in front of her, open doors for her that we, we can't even imagine. But you would position her in crazy places of responsibility and authority to bring hope and life and goodness and justice to those in need and those who may not even have a voice. And Father, in every class she takes, that her professors would recognize what an amazing human being they have sitting in their class learning from them. And it would cause them to prepare even more and it would cause them to come to her and to pour more into her than perhaps other students. And we're just asking for that kind of favor over her life. And Father, I ask you to give her the uh, eyes to see you really, really clearly in a world that's going to get darker and darker and darker. And to know that where you take her, it's because that place needs your light. And God, we're just going to ask you to continue to meet every one of her needs. Be faithful again to your promise to us that that's what you will do. And God, we are so grateful that we have had at least just the beginning of 18 years with this young lady. And it's going to be a lot of fun watching the next 18 and just to see what you do with her life. And we're going to be really good, Lord, to cheer her on. And um, thanks for these moments. Thank you for our friends and our family who gathered with us tonight. And um, Father, we love you, and we offer this in my prayer in Jesus' name. Father, before I forget, I want to beg your protection for her and her spirit, and for the protection of her intellect, she steps into a world that would want to change it. For the protection of her physically, as she now has to deal with everyday stuff, taking care of herself in that new world as well. Father, this is as much as anything a prayer of Thanksgiving, because in one wonderful gift you've given us, beauty and joy and intelligence and heartburn and all that comes from the responsibility of raising a life to be one that honors you in work and in play and in spirit and in worship. Father, we got all of that. And Father, you've given her a, a vision that surpasses so many. Uh, She's been given an ability to see you and things that some of us miss. She's been given a vision to see wrongs that need to be righted by your truth. She's been given courage to stand and speak truth, sometimes in difficult situations. So how rare that is. One given the courage not to go with the flow, but to stand for right in your name. So much out there, Lord, that's going to be touched for good by her. And we give you praise for it even before it begins. And not that it hadn't begun already, but this is a new journey. And rather, my heart shakes a little bit because I remember that little four-year-old girl sitting in front of me on the mountaintop. 
talking about what God was going to do special with her, what he had already put in her special. And you know, here, 14 years later, we see the proof of all of that. And we thank you and praise you for every step along the way. Lord, though you love her better than this old man can, so I trust her to you. I thank you for a dad that has loved her with every ounce of his being. Lord, what a gift. We praise that all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.